What's up? My name is Dylan, and for the past month, I've been traveling through the beautiful country of Guatemala. This is a weekend in Flores, exploring the Mayan ruins of Tikal. City boys, city boys. The journey began in Guatemala City. Now to get to Flores from Guatemala City, you have two options, either drive for nine hours or take about a 45 minute flight. To us, the decision was pretty easy. So we landed in Flores at about 7 a.m. We stayed on the Isla de Flores, which is a tiny island in the middle of the lake. You can probably walk around the whole island in about 15 minutes. And the hostel we stayed at was called Los Amigos, which is a really cool hostel that had a bar, restaurant, club, and all sorts of cool jungly decorations. After checking in and exploring a bit of the island for the evening activity, we signed ourselves up for the sunset boat cruise that the hostel puts together. We figured it'd be a great way to meet some people who are staying there, and who doesn't like a good afternoon out in the water? They water taxied us out to this floating barge boat equipped with a bar and a DJ. And after having a beer and meeting some people from all over the world, they took us over to this cliff that had a couple rope swings. And Trey loved the rope swing. He was showing off. As for me, I need to practice my backflip. <laughs> now that we've all gotten wet, did some rope swinging, it's time to get back on the barge and watch the sunset. One of my biggest highlights was when the boat captain let me drive the barge for a little bit. That was fun. But the party doesn't stop when the sun goes down. The DJ kept playing, the drinks kept coming, and then we pulled up to this private little beach with a bonfire. The next morning, we got up early, hopped on a shuttle, and made our way to the National Park of Tikal. Trey, where are we going? Tikal was one of the largest archaeological sites and urban centers in the pre-Columbian Mayan civilization. Now, I'm no expert on Mayan culture or ancient ruins and civilizations, so I'm not going to spit a bunch of Wikipedia facts at you. But I do recommend, if you come here, getting the walking tour guide because they have a lot of great information. And it's nice to have context on the things that you're looking at. One interesting fact that I do remember is you'll see all these grassy dirt mounds all over the place. And those are not just like hills or grass mounds. Those are actually ruins as well that just have been covered up. And apparently the archaeologists, archaeologists? They've decided it's better to preserve these ruins by keeping them covered with dirt rather than expose them to the air and all the elements. So all the temples and ruins that you're seeing is really only about 15% of what's actually there. On our last full day in Flores, we didn't really have anything planned, but it was recommended that we go to the lookout called Mirador de Canec. We took a water taxi to a town across the lake and did some hiking through the jungle. Make sure you bring your bug spray. National Geographic. Look at them go. Once you get to the mirror door, 
The views are worth it. Like, it's like 360 degrees of lake. And after soaking in the views, it's time to go relax at Playa Chechenal. I think I said that right. Trey is hiring the local niños to search for the sunglasses he lost in the water. <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> Overall, Flores was a great time, and I think it's a, a must-visit destination if you're spending time in Guatemala. I've got a lot more things planned for Guatemala, so if you thought this video was interesting, feel free to follow along.